They smell like spray paint, though. It's weird. Like, can you smell them from here? I can't smell anything. Oh, that's right. Sorry, I keep forgetting. <laughs> that shoe looks like what came out of my nose. <laughs> <laughs> that is TMI. <laughs> It didn't, just to let you know. It was just a good joke. Thanks, thanks. She is kind of funny. <laughs>Hey, what's good guys? My name's Chris. Welcome back to the official weartesters.com YouTube channel. Today we got a detailed look and breakdown on the Puma MB03, also known as LaMelo Ball's third signature shoe. Much like the first two models, the box is awesome. The first one, you went through a portal. The second one, I don't even remember what that was. That was like the wings. Oh yeah. Right? Third one, they're going full Puma on you, dude. Like, this is dope. I love it. And much like the last two, when you open up the box, they are separated and everything like that. I just think that the attention to detail by Puma with their packaging is just some of the best. So I think that it should be highlighted and noted. The only thing that can make this better is if there was a picture or a card or something, some sort of graphic that actually had the uh, the tech specs like already like broken down for you so that they visually showed you what was inside the shoe. This particular colorway is actually a collaboration. They won't be available until September 14th. Retail price though should be about 125, which I absolutely love. Much like the box, it's fairly consistent with the previous releases where they're all kind of affordable. <laughs> But anyways, this is a collaboration between Puma and, I'm gonna say this improperly and I apologize, but La France. It's spelled out in a way that it looks like La France. I never even took French, so I don't, I don't want to butcher everything. I apologize. I'm sorry. And you can't come because you don't speak French. Au revoir. But that's what it is. Not only are the shoes part of the collaboration, but there's also an apparel line that matches as well. Big thank you to Puma, by the way, for sending this all over. I greatly appreciate it. And just in case you wanted to know what some of the apparel look like, this is uh, one of them. It's kind of creepy, if you ask me. Here's the other one. It got creepier. I really like the shorts, though. The shorts are dope. It matches the uh, print on the upper and everything. And just to get this out of the way, they did come with extra laces. I don't know if this is supposed to be packaged like this in every like box or everything like that, but sometimes they would come in baggies and sometimes they would just come in the shoes or not in the shoes but just in the box this time they were actually put in a little paper thing either way it looks like they come with extra laces so they'll match the accent colors now as far as the shoe is concerned i think that this is the best looking shoe that they've ever done and i don't mean like puma basketball as a whole i'm just talking about the lamello line obviously there's only three models so it's not a big sampling or anything like that but i needed to warm up to the ones there were certain colorways of the ones that i just absolutely love once i played in the shoe though it was just my favorite and so i ended up buying damn near every Every pair of them. The twos, I really liked right out the gate. I thought that they were pretty sick. The threes though, this was the one where I saw these and I was like, when did those come out? I loved just the claw look, you know what I mean? Like this midsole and outsole combo looks so dope together. On top of that, they make a flat textile look like it has depth. This is something that I really wish that I had noted in the Sabrina video. The textile that they use, not only does it look good and it's thick looking, even though it's very thin and all that stuff, but it had like depth to it. You know what I mean? They look like pants. The way that they were like interwoven with one another and had extra embroidery details. It was just a fantastic look to something that typically looks really plain and flat. And that's how I feel with these. So I absolutely love them. How are they going to perform on court though? I'm pretty sure they're going to perform very similarly to the past two models, which again, I think is great. There's consistency within the line. So if you like the other two, you should like these as well. Also, the designer of the Lamello ones was the same designer here. So Jacob Garcia did a kick-ass job. If you have not followed him on social yet, I highly recommend it. He's awesome. Performance wise, though, look at that asshole, man. That's crazy. This looks like it's gonna just grip the floor. It reminds me a lot of back in the day, back in what, 2016-ish, maybe? When they had the Adidas Crazy Explosive and they had the coral looking outsole. That's what this reminds me of. And that shoe, it's still one of the greatest performers ever. So if this can even get remotely close to that, I think it's gonna be awesome. The rubber's firm, but the lines are thin or the grooves are thin. So just be aware of that when you like are hooping in these outside. I know that some people don't have indoor access. So if this is a shoe that you must have and you're an outdoor only player, I wouldn't expect too much, but they should last a little bit longer if you're comparing them to something like the Puma All Pro, the original one. That one I pretty much burned through really quickly, but I kept playing them because it just kept working. So uh, it wasn't a big deal for that particular shoe. It also probably is because of the court that we play on, like the outdoor courts here are kind of sandpapery. They have a little bit of grit to them. So they grip your, your rubber even if it starts to get smooth. But again, much like the last models, there's something to say there and you got that rare thing on there. So I think that's also cool. Now, as far as the cushion is concerned, it's gonna be again, very similar to the last model. We have a compression molded EVA mid 
midsole. Inside of that is going to be nitro infused pucks. So we have one on the forefoot and one on the heel. And again, much like the last two models, the insole is very similar. It's a really thick, fluffy ortholite. And then underneath that, there's another layer of foam for the strobel and everything. So when you first put these on, they feel really plush. They feel really good despite compression molded EVA being a little bit more on the firmer side. I can't remember what video we were talking about that with. My brain is foggy. Yeah, we do too many videos, so I can't remember. But I do remember explaining that, or was it the running shoe? I think it was, I think it was the Nike runner. But either way, compression molded midsoles are used because they just last longer. So it's just better for performance and the product as far as longevity goes. Even though injected molded is usually a little bit fluffier, bouncier, feels a little bit better, at least initially, but it will bottom out quicker. And again, much like the previous two models, the way that everything is sculpted and molded is very similar to a Kyrie or a Nike Kyrie. So it's molded in a way to where it's kind of like sculpted for motion. So you've got all of this area, but it's still wide enough to provide lateral support and continue especially with the rubber just wrapping up right here. I swear to you that this is the coolest looking thing I've seen in so long. This type of design I wish was over at Nike, just something aggressive, something bold, something different. There's all looks the same. Adidas all looks the same. This, this is awesome. This is a signature shoe. Like signature shoes, we just hung out with some of the greatest minds of, in footwear of all time. Tinker Hatfield was there. I met my idol. I will tell you the story later. But basically he was saying that if something that you design or create doesn't get some sort of reaction, good or bad, doesn't matter. He would talk about that when he brought his designs into a room and if everybody liked it, he sweared that he didn't do the right thing. You have to have that mix of like love, hate. And that's what a shoe like this is all about. You see this and some people will like me are gonna see it and just be like yo that's dope there's gonna be other people that see it and be like Ow! that's the reaction you want what? basically means that you're pushing the envelope a little bit and I think that that's awesome you're leaving your mark or your stamp on footwear but anyways the upper on these guys is a textile it's layered though so there's a couple of different key components and everything very similar to most textiles but if you did not like the plasticky fuse style upper of the twos you're really gonna like this this is in my opinion better than both of the original models the one and the two so again we got a textile here base layer though or the underlay material is all mesh and everything so not only is it gonna be a little bit more comfortable it's gonna be extra Extra breathable so you see all of these claws I love the way that they just incorporated everything they do a great job of that the whole not from here space theme with the one it went from the box to the product same thing with that feather tattoo and stuff like that or the wings tattoo it went from the box to the product same thing here you got the puma claw claw marks and it's going from the box to the product it's just so cool it's so interesting but anyways the extra overlay materials are typical really thin plastic or TPU fuse panels it's just at the high wear area though this is not only going to be for protection of the material but it also allows the glue to bond so when you glue something to a textile it's iffy sometimes it bonds really well sometimes it doesn't so when you add these little strips of like plastic or TPU and then you glue to that that's gonna create like a much greater bond the Air Jordan 28 is probably the one thing that like really sticks out in my mind I broke those the first day that I wore them somebody stepped on my foot and the upper ripped from the bottom and everything and I had to get a new pair and yada 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 literally first day that I wore them somebody boom and I was like whoa what the hell so that glue just didn't bond super well to that fabric and they ended up having to do a change order because of that and they made better product or a better product with the later runs the lacing system is also very interesting it's super intriguing it kind of goes all over the place it's not standard it's everywhere there are standard eye stays but there's also the nylon cables mixed in and you can see that it's like kind of going back and forth so you can work with your width or with your narrowness of your foot it kind of will hopefully accommodate for most people one of the other cool points is actually on the tongue so this is another area where it looks very similar to the past models, which I dig, but they actually added like extra fixed lace loops. Is that what they were called? I can't remember. That sounds right. But either way, you've got one right here at the bottom. I'm actually not using it, but it's there in case you need it. The one that is actually being used with the factory lace setup is there right in the middle. But then there's a third one right here underneath the halo and everything. So if you wanted to use all of that stuff and really get your tongue so that it doesn't move, and also for a more secure fit, you can do that. Or if you like the way that they are here, you could just leave that. If you want to switch it up a little bit and do one after the other, you know, alternate and stuff, you could do that too. So there's many options there. There. Also, my favorite part probably is just this back. I think that it looks really cool, this molded fabric area. It's gonna allow for a lot of mobility in your ankle, but a lot of security as well. And then inside of this is a really substantial heel counter. So even though it looks like it's soft, like a fabric, it's actually really strong. Now, as far as the fit is concerned, in my opinion, they fit exactly the same as the first two models. So whatever it is that you ordered for those, that's exactly what I would get here. I go true to size personally, and I feel like they fit perfect. And that pretty much covers it. This is the Puma MB. 
303. Sound off below and let us know what you think about everything. We would love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for the support. We greatly appreciate it. We have so much cool stuff to come. So I'm, I'm just really excited to tell you guys about Meet and Tinker and um, the dumb things that I said in front of them. So yeah, thank you so much for everything. And we will catch you guys on the next one. So until then, y'all have a good one. <laughs> you don't cough all day. <laughs> and then we go to film. <laughs> <laughs> that was a look. <laughs> it's not funny, babe. It's really hot. Yes, I know. You want me to leave? Are you good? I'm trying. What do you have in your mouth? Is there a <laughs> cough drop? That was cute, too. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> At least you caught it. I did.